Hey guys, it's Josh and I'm back. I've been super busy lately on the fitness challenge I've been working on and learning how to make YouTube videos. The YouTube video making thing has been awesome. It's kind of forced me to get out of the house and do the activities that I've always wanted to do. You know, last weekend I hopped on the bike and I rode to a beautiful park in the north of Manhattan. It was really, really cool. This morning I got up early, I was super motivated. I went downstairs and I filmed a bunch of different scenes by the water. Unfortunately, they weren't up to the quality I'm looking for, so you're not seeing much of them now, but it was a good experience. Anyway, the other thing that I've been busy with, of course, is the fitness challenge. I'm generally a pretty fit person. I swim with a swimming team about three to four times per week, and I normally do some weights at home every so often. That being said, I've never got that body transformation that I was looking for. So for the month of May, I set myself a goal that I would go and swim with my swim team or do weights at home every day for 31 days. And I've mostly achieved that. Unfortunately, I had a little bit of a flare up in my lower back for two of those days. So, you know, that kind of sucked a little bit, but I pretty much hit the challenge that I anticipated. Now, did I get the transformation in my body that I was hoping for? No. I certainly am thinner, I'm feeling better about myself, but I didn't get the results that I was hoping for just yet. Therefore, I'm gonna make the following changes as I move into June, because overall, it's been a great experience and I think I can do better. One, I'm gonna introduce a rest day. I don't think it's good for me to be doing seven days a week of exercise. What I've noticed, for example, is the weights. I'm not able to do the same reps with the same weights that I should be able to do. I feel like I'm just too tired to be making progress, so I really wanna introduce that rest day. Next is the balance between swimming and weights. I normally swim about three to four times per week and do about one weight session. Now that's prior to the challenge. Even with the challenge, I'm swimming maybe four to five times per week and maybe one to two weight sessions. So it's still imbalance between swimming and weights. Well, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna cap myself at three swims per week and make sure I'm doing three weight sessions per week. All right, number three. I feel like I'm still eating a little bit too much. I'm not a big fan of calorie counting every day. I think that's a little bit too restrictive, but every couple of days I do fire up the MyFitnessPal app and measure how many calories I'm eating. And it's 2,600, which I think is a little bit too high. I wanna bring that down to about 2,300. Therefore, what I'm going to do is just chip away at little things that I'm eating. For example, if I normally have three poached eggs in the morning on two pieces of rye bread, I'm gonna bring that down to just two poached eggs on one piece of white rye bread. Not too hard a change. The fourth thing is the weights. It's so easy to just pick up some dumbbells and do some biceps or some shoulder work. Those are the fun ones to do. But I really wanna mix it up a little bit more. I wanna have more focus on core work, so that's abdomen. I also wanna hit the lower back, I wanna hit the legs, and I wanna introduce a lot more compound weight. So this is where I'm doing, say, two weight exercises at the same time. So maybe I'm doing biceps, and shoulders at the same time. The fifth thing I'm gonna introduce is slightly heavier weights. I do have a bad back, but I think there's a little bit more I can do. So instead of 20 pound dumbbells, I'm moving up to 25. Instead of a 24 pound weighted bar, I'm hitting 30. So I'm progressing that a little bit. The other thing I wanna to touch on is intermittent fasting. As I read the material of people who've gone through body transformations like the one I'm trying to achieve, a lot of people have mentioned this. And intermittent fasting is when you restrict your eating to eight hours of the day, and then 16 hours, including sleep, you don't eat. Well, I tried that for a couple of days, and for me, it was just horrible. I just can't sleep hungry. I can't do it. So that one I'm gonna leave to the side any challenges that I do or anything I'm gonna do with my life, I wanna make sure it's enjoyable and livable. And for me, that one just wasn't. If I have to be a little less ripped, that's something I can accept. Anyway, it's been a great experience thus far. I'm looking forward to continuing the journey with you, but now it's a beautiful day outside. I wanna head out there. I wanna take some glorious pictures and try out the camera in different modes that I'm starting to learn. So for now, it's goodbye from me. Please click subscribe if you like this video, hit the notification bell, it'll tell you when more videos are gonna be posted by me, and feel free to reply with comments, I'd love to get chatting. Catch you later.